The following program may contain strong language and sexual content that may offend some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Mmm. This man has choices to make on his quest for love, and he's gonna make them right here. As we ask, David, who'd you rather? <laughs> Boys, yeah. are you? High five! Come on, come on! High five! Nice, I like it. I like it. How you doing, David? Welcome to the game show that's all about having fun with sex. I'm your host, Boomer Phillips, and joining me behind the bar is the lovely Kate. How you doing over there, Kate? I'm great. How are you, Boomer? I'm awesome. Yeah. Making any money in tips? I am. We have a generous bunch of people in here tonight. Good. You ever play just the tip? That was too mm, much, eh? Yeah, rude. just a bit. It was yeah. rude. That's who yeah, I am. Yeah. Want to meet our contestant? Looking for love? Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's do that. His name is David. He's a student and tennis coach. He plays basketball, football, football, baseball, and hockey. So you're an athlete. He's got chiseled features. He's jacked, ripped, wears tight shirts. Nothing wrong with that. I enjoy that. Not a gay guy, just saying I enjoy it. I respect a good build, and you got one. His biggest turn on is a girl who can dance. The biggest surprise he ever got on a date was finding out she was married. Yeah, you know, Boomer, it was unfortunate. Everything was going well, and then near the end of the date, she just kind of pulled out and said, uh, yeah, I have a husband. And I was like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> she pulled out? Well, she, when, she, uh, when we were finishing off. Oh, okay, I get it. I was like, yeah. if she's pulling out, this is awkward. <laughs> Do you, nah, nah. do you want to say anything to her husband? Um, sorry buddy, you gotta try harder. Oh! Alright, we met the guys! What do you say we meet the ladies? Open up those curtains! Yeah! Come on out here, girls! Contestant number one, Charnel, a student who likes to play sports and go to movies. She isn't afraid to make out with girls. I love it. I'm sure you I love, love that it. too, Boomer. Uh, do you want to show us some of that girl making out right now? Maybe entice uh, David? We'll see how the show goes. <laughs> oh, okay. you like that? Yeah. Are I you into like threesomes? It. Definitely. Good. Yeah, that's the right answer. Uh, contestant number two, Alicia, is a server who likes camping and partying. She does impressions of singers. Can I hear one? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's. Um, who do you want to hear? Whatever. Give me a singer. How about Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber? There we go. Ooh, uh, let's see here. All right, that was great. Oh, no, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. One less lonely girl. There's going to be one less lonely. One okay. Less lonely right. Wow. 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 She's, not gonna be, she's not going to be lonely. Though. Yeah, no, she won't be lonely. Won't not be with lonely. you, eh? No, I don't think do you ever so. do a naked steamroller with an erection? No, no, I haven't done that. No, oh, it's okay. A little camping game you and my dad used to play. All right. And uh, contestant number three, Mindy. Mindy is a model who's into skating and UFC. Uh, how would you like to put her in a rear naked choke? Because I know I would. I just have one question. Her better mine, I guess. Yeah. What do you think? Would you like to be in a rear no naked choke with uh, David? Sure, we can work something out. Wow. Well, what kind of model are you? Are you a breast model? model. What? You're a fantastic <laughs> breast. That's why. Do you Thank model? Thank you. <laughs> you should. Sometimes. You should. Good for you. <laughs> All right. Now that we met the ladies, what do you say we learn how the game's played? Our game is simple. I'll be asking David some who'd you rather questions, and our three ladies will be guessing what David's into. With every who'd you rather question, ladies can wager either 100, 200, 300 points with their guess. If you match David's answers, you'll add those points to your overall total, but if you guess wrong, those points are taken away. The girl with the most points at the end of the game will either win a date with David or a craft prize. Let's give each contestant a thousand points to start you off. You ready to play? Go, yeah. go. All right, our first category is celebs. <laughs> this is where we compare two famous people and decide which celeb is hotter or who'd you rather bang. David, it's now time for you to make your first choice as we offer you two awesome babes. So David, who'd you rather? A, Megan Fox as a mechanic, or Scarlett Johansson as your assistant? Everyone take a few seconds, lock in your wagers and your answers. Mm. Okay, why don't we figure out what's going on? Charnel, 
Would you vote A or B? I went with A, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, how come? I don't know, he just looks like the kind of guy that likes to grow with dark hair. Dark Make hair? Any hints or anything. Megan Fox is hot. You think? So? Yeah? Oh, definitely. Okay. I like it dirty. You like it dirty? You're saying she's dirty? Even if she's married? Hey. You're into married chicks! <laughs> Alicia, what do you think? Hey, Megan hey, Fox. Hey, Megan Fox. She's a fox. Why? He looks like he can get down and dirty. Mechanics, he loves it. Oh, well, yeah. Awesome answer. Mindy, what do you think? I pick A, Megan Fox, because I'd bang Megan Fox, and I think we're kind of the same type, so maybe you would too. <laughs> wow, fantastic. That's great, because I'm pretty sure he'd bang you. Okay, we know what the ladies have selected. Now it's time to find out who David picked. We're going to reveal that answer in a couple minutes, but before the break, let's see who some of you'd rather. Who do you rather? Who would you rather, Megan Fox or Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett Johansson, no question. It's not even a question. <laughs> Megan, Fo Megan <laughs> Fox, Megan Fox, so way. much. Sex Scarlett Johansson, Fox. Yeah. really? You're yeah. a liar. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> no, no I'm not. Liar. He's just trying not to uh, be the norm. No, Scarlett Johansson. Actually, I'd rather do both of them to tell you the truth <laughs> <laughs> at the same time. Welcome back to Who'd You Rather. David, before the break, we offered you two choices of celebrities. They were A, Megan Fox as your mechanic, or B, Scarlett Johansson as your assistant. What's it gonna be, buddy? You, you can know, take your time. You know, Boomer, it was, it was a tough decision, but uh, there's no doubt about it. It's gotta be A, Megan Fox. Oh, Very mechanic, baby. Yeah, yeah, bent over your hood, fixing the Camaro. She's smoking. Oh, yeah. Any girl who can fix something's good. Gonna fix anything on me. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? What do you think of that, girls? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's figure out the wagers and the scores. Charnel wagered in at 300. Alicia wagered in at 300. And Mindy, would you? Oh, 200. <laughs> All right, let's see the overall total. And it looks like there's gonna be a tie right now with Charnel and Alicia. It doesn't mean you're out of it yet, Mindy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our next category is turn-ons and turn-offs because sometimes what turns one person off actually gets a junior hockey team off. Ladies, let's see if you can figure out what kind of girl David is looking for because here are his choices. Take a look at these pictures, David. Who'd you rather, A, a girl who's obsessive about her weight or B, a girl who eats what she likes when she likes? All right, everyone take a few seconds. Punch in your wagers and your answers. David, you've also locked in your choice of A, a girl who's obsessive about her weight, or B, a girl who eats what she likes when she likes. Okay, ladies, let's see what you picked. Charnel, what would you pick, A or B? Well, I went with A, a girl who's obsessive with her weight. Really? Why is that? Yeah, I don't look at it. He doesn't look like the kind of guy who's into like the more cushion for the pushing. I don't know. Are you? I would think. Do you like the cushion for the pushing? I'm uh, thinking he'll he'll bang anything. He doesn't <laughs> care. Uh, sometimes it's okay, but yeah? sometimes yeah, I try to walk by and Really? Go really? It's just now. like get away from me. Yeah, don't touch me. No. Okay. Alicia, what are you thinking? A or B? I chose B because it doesn't look like he'd want to be annoyed by taking a girl out for dinner all the time and her only having a salad. That's annoying. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, once in a while it's, it's good to kind of have a girl that's pretty relaxed as well, so it's definitely a good answer as well. All right, Mindy, would you decide A or B, A, a girl who's obsessive about her weight, or B, a girl who eats what she likes when she likes? I picked A, a girl that's obsessed with better weight because you look like you watch your weight and she should too. All right, we know what the girls have decided. Let's find out what David chose. So, David, who'd you rather? A, a girl who's obsessive about her weight, or B, a girl who eats what she likes when she likes? Well, Boomer, you know, after looking at both pictures, it was definitely A, a girl who's obsessive about her weight. Because, you know, as Mindy said, I'm a guy who takes care of my body, and I would expect a girl to do the same. Good answer, good answer. All right. Well, let's check their wagers and tally up the scores. Charnel, you wagered in at 300. Alicia? Wagered in at 100, and Mindy wagered in at, oh, she's happy. All right, let's tell it the scores, see who's on top now. 
Charnel is in the lead. Huh? David looks pretty happy. You girls still aren't out of it, remember? You guys all talked about that threesome too, so it doesn't That's even fair. matter who wins. <laughs> now we're not only going to describe someone, we're actually going to show you a couple people. So take a look at who we've got behind the curtains. Open up those curtains! Jesus, good Lord, have mercy. That's fantastic. So, David, who'd you rather, A, the dominatrix, to punish you? And when I mean punish, I mean beat the crap out of you and make you right. ejaculate at the same time. <laughs> or B, a princess to please you and clean your floors. Everybody, take a few seconds, punch in your wagers and your answers. I'm just going to stare at these models. That's awesome. All right, let's see what the girls answered. Charnel, what'd you answer? Well, a, the dominatrix, or B, the princess? I went with A, the dominatrix. Nice, are you into that? Who knows, I guess we'll have to see if I go on that date. Uh, are you into that? Are you into like a sex swing in a dungeon uh, with gimp balls and good thorough beating? Definitely, Boomer, once in a while, because everybody needs yeah, to Yeah, for sure, definitely. <laughs> Alicia, what'd you think, the dominatrix A or B, the princess? A dominatrix looks are, like a bad boy. Oh yeah, are you, are you into that stuff? <laughs> Being bad. Being bad, 100%. naughty. Hundred percent. Yeah. What about the whip thing? Are you? Do you like that? I like that? the whip a lot. Good. Good. Do you? Definitely. Yeah. For awesome. sure. And Mindy. Mindy looks pretty happy. <laughs> Would you decide A the dominatrix or B the princess? I picked A the dominatrix because she's hot. <laughs> she is hot. You like yeah. you like women, eh? It's okay. <laughs> It's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. That's perfectly Maybe. natural. Fine with me, Boomer. And yes, fine, as fine as, with both of us, As long as she can share, right? Yeah. Can you share? Sometimes. All right, we know what the lazy pick. Let's find out what our boy picked. What's it going to be? Who'd you rather, A, the dominatrix, or B, the princess? Boomer, I really thought about this one carefully, and unfortunately, they all got it wrong. I went with B, wow! the princess. Wow! You, why do you like the princess? I don't know. I, I was kind of attracted more to the princess just because she had a, a gorgeous smile and, and she seemed like she would be the right girl for me. My God, I'm a big fan of the uh, dominatrix with the Lululemon pants there. That's awesome. I love a good yoga pants, like a power bra for a butt. Looks fantastic. All right, let's close the curtains. What do you say we find out the wagers and tally up the scores? Let's check it out, Charnel. You wagered in at 200 points, Alicia. You wagered in at 200, and Mindy wagered in at three. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. My heart goes out to you. Let's tell you the score and see what happens. And Charnel's still in the lead, but Mindy and Alicia are right there. It's okay, you can clap, don't be shy. <laughs> Now it's time to get down and dirty. This category is all about those intimate moments that you don't want to tell anyone about. Now you get to do it on national television. David, ladies, here's the question. David, would you rather a girl who wants you to try on her pantyhose or be a girl who wants you to wear diapers and feed you a baby bottle? Why don't we uh, substitute baby bottle with tea? Do you, you agree with that? I think that's a definite replacement. Yeah. All right, so there it is. A, a girl who wants you to try on her pantyhose, or B, a girl who wants you to wear diapers and feed from her teat. Why don't we take a few seconds, punch in your wager and your answers. All right, that was enough time, Charnel. What's it gonna be, A or B? A, the pantyhose, or B, the teat? I went with A, the pantyhose. Why is that? I, I don't know, he looks like he likes to say a little dress up sometimes. Whoa, <laughs> do, do you dress up? Do you dress up as women? Like, put the horn between the legs? Uh, play the silence not. of the lambs? No, not really. No? It's not my style. No, nothing, I, no. I do it from time to time. I'm Do not you? gonna lie, it's who I am. Uh, Alicia, <laughs> what about you, A or B? I chose A, cause diapers. <laughs> Let's get real. Yeah. No. Not. No, not yeah, you, you don't want diapers. Mindy, A or B? I chose A because I got lots of sexy pantyhose you can try on. I'd like to see those. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing those pantyhose too. That's fantastic. All right, now that we know what the girls decided, let's figure out what you have decided. Who'd you rather? A, a girl who wants you to try on her pantyhose, or B, a girl who wants you to wear diapers and feed from her teat? You know, Boomer, I had to go with A with the pantyhose just because I was a kid once and I'm not going back to being a kid. Diapers, 
It's not my style. I'm not going to do that. Good answer, and it looks like everybody's happy. Let's see how much you wagered and tell it the score. Charnel, you wagered in at 300. Alicia, you wagered in at 200. And Mindy, you wagered in at 300. She looks happy. All right, let's tally it up. See what happens, because somebody's going home. Oh, that's too bad, Alicia. Unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. So you're going to have to go to the bar. Yeah, so once you get up, go to the bar, but it doesn't mean you're not leaving without anything. Can I have you? you? Yeah, I wish you could. I wish we can do this. So why don't we do that? We'll play the game. We'll come back right after these messages. <laughs> Alicia, you are fantastic, by the way. What? I'm fast, all right? I'm quick. I'm a premature ejaculator. I don't make love, I make a mess. Welcome back to Who'd You Rather? It's time to get personal. Two of our original three ladies are left in the game. Before the game, we found out some stuff about David. This category or this question is based on his answers. I know the answer and so does the audience, but we'll find out if the girls know it. So, who'd David rather? A, a girl with bad breath. Ugh. Or B, a girl with smelly feet. Why don't we take some time, and by time I mean few seconds, punch in your wager and your answers. All right, girls. Charnel with 1,700. Mindy with 1,400. What's it going to be? Who'd David rather? A, the breath, or B, the feet? Well, I want to be the feet because... Nobody wants to kiss a girl with bad breath. That is, you could put like powder on the feet, cover it up, the smell. That's true. Uh, you never heard of brushing your teeth, then. Well, it's okay. Nothing wrong. Some people. <laughs> Mindy, what do you think? A or B? I picked B because you're not going to be kissing the feet unless you're into that. <laughs> and then I went off the show. <laughs> I, you, you, I hate feet too. Feet, the whole thing. That's disgusting. Yeah. Not my style too. Yeah. All right. Well, we got to find out. What's it going to be? A or B, who'd you rather, David? Well, Boomer, they both got it right. It's B, a girl with smelly feet. Can't do that. Yeah. That's not my style. No. There we go. Well, let's find out how much you wagered, and we'll tell if the score is Charnel. Wagered in at 200. Mindy, would you wager in at? Oh, she's happy. 300. Let's tally up the scores. See what's going on here. Charnel still in the lead with 1,900, but that doesn't mean you're out of it, Mindy. No, it doesn't. Let's do it. Let's do it time. This is the dare category, a chance to impress David and earn as many as 300 valuable points. But this time, it's David himself who will be awarding the points and will have a direct influence with the outcome of this game. Ladies, here's your task. You've got to give David here a naughty lap dance. Oh. <laughs> So we'll do it one at a time. David, please take a seat there. Charnel, you're up first. You got 10 seconds on the clock. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, those 10 seconds. Give it up for Charnel. Good, Boomer. <laughs> How was that? That's good. I'm gonna just fix my pants. Did he move? <laughs> You're fixing your pants, and you need some duct tape. To keep that thing down there. there. <laughs> All right, Mindy. It's your turn. Ten seconds on the clock. Let's do it. Ten. Oh. Even though that's ten seconds, he was liking it too much, so. We gotta take that off there. Boomer, do we have that duct tape? I, I, I'm... I know, I know. He moved, he moved. Guy could dry out his hockey equipment on his penis right now. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. So what's it gonna be? Who are you gonna decide? Where, who are the points gonna go to? Who are you gonna pick? Charnel or Mindy? Such a close game. You know, Boomer, that was, that was incredible, both of you, but I have to give it to Mindy just because she was a bit more aggressive with the hands. Oh. Mindy's got it to be 100. Oh, that's awesome!
awesome. So let's tally it up. Charnel with 19. Mindy with 2,000. That brings us to the end of our game. And Mindy with 2,000 points is on top. Now, David, you have the ultimate who'd you rather choice to make. Although Mindy has 2,000 points and looks like your winner, you can still choose Charnel. If you pick our game winner, Mindy, not only will you go on a date, we will give you some extra spending money. But if you think you'd rather Charnel, then Mindy will get the cash because she won with the points. Is that not awesome? Sounds pretty good. <laughs> he will make his choice right after the break. David, you just saved 40 bucks and got two free lap oh, dances. Definitely. definitely. Think you could balance that on your horn right now? Uh, I might. All right, all right. Well, we don't have to try. But who'd you rather, David? I gotta ask. I, I wanna know. The people at home wanna know. They're dying to know. Who'd you rather, Charnel or Mindy? What's it gonna be? You know, Boomer, they did a great job with the dancing. Both of them were phenomenal. Yeah. I, and I definitely saved a lot of money uh, yeah. with them. 40 too. bucks. Use that on the date. Exactly. So I had to go, after a long thought process, I had to go with Mindy just because she had a little bit more aggressiveness with her hands and I've always liked a good dancer as I said before. All right, now it's time to reveal where they'll be going on their special first date. Grab your bathing suits because your date's at Wild Water Kingdom on Finch near the 427 in Brampton, Ontario. You at home will be able to see what happens on their date by going to our website, whodyourrather.com. You girls have been great sports. Thanks for watching. Remember, sex isn't just fun, it's funny. And unless you're out of shape, then it's work. <laughs> Congratulations. We had a great time on the show, and now we're here on our date at Wild Water Kingdom. But if you guys want to check out the rest of our date, you can go to whodyourrather.com. See you guys there. <laughs> oh, you got one? You want one? There you go, buddy. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's like on a seven to one by now. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a better one. Nice little water. Water, water.